Welcome to Lab 50 of the Docker Workshop. In this lab, we will create SSH key pairs, log into your trial account, and create a compartment, virtual cloud network, and a new compute instance. Finally, we will install the Docker engine and Git into the instance for use in labs 100 and 200. From the Oracle Cloud sign-in page, you want to enter your cloud account name and click My Services. Next, you want to enter your username and password and click the Sign In button. Once signed in, you want to expand the hamburger menu, expand services, and click the Compute service. Once in the OCI console, we want to click on Menu, Identity, and then Compartment. Here we want to create a compartment, so click on the Create Compartment button. You want to enter the compartment name, the compartment description, and then click the Create Compartment button. Once the compartment is created, you'll see it in the list of compartments. Now we want to switch to Menu networking virtual cloud networks. You also want to make sure that you select your desired compartment. You may not see that. You may need to refresh the page in order to see your newly created compartment. Next, create a, click on the Create Virtual Cloud Network. Here you want to enter the name. Select the Create Virtual Cloud Network plus related resources. Uncheck the Use DNS Host Names in this VCN. Scroll down and click the Create Virtual Cloud Network button. Once created, you can close this page. Now we're going to add some security rules to this virtual cloud network. Click on the Docker VCN, VC, uh, VCN scroll down and click security lists. Click on the default security list Docker VCN. Here we're going to define a series of ingress rules. So click on the edit all roles. You want to scroll down and click the add role button. At this point you want to enter in the appropriate information for source CIDR and the destination port range. In our case it will be 8085. And we're going to repeat this process for four more ports. Port 9080. Port 8002. Port 18002. And finally, port 5600. Once all the ports are entered, scroll to the bottom of this page and click the Save Security List Rules. At this point, if you scroll down, you'll see the newly added ingress rules and corresponding ports. Now we're going to switch over and we're going to generate an SSH public-private key pair. Enter in the appropriate command. There's no need here for a passphrase. Once the SSH key gen is finished, you will see that there's a public and private SSH key. At this point, we're going to switch back over to the OCI console. and We're going to click on Compute Instances, and we're going to click the Create Instance button. You want to change the name to Docker. Uh, the default domain and operating system is fine. Uh, next, we want to change the shape to a standard 1.1. .1. Next, we're going to scroll down and we're going to select the public SSH key that we just generated earlier. We also want to verify that the Docker VCN 
uh, virtual cloud network that we created earlier is selected. And at this point, we can click the Create Instance button. At first, the instance will show as provisioning. Uh, but after a few minutes, it'll show uh, the status of running and be green. Also make note of the public IP address. At this point, we're going to switch back over to a terminal window. And we're going to change the permissions on the private key to ensure that we can SSH into the instance we just created. So we want to issue the command cmod 600 docker key. Next, we're going to issue the SSH interactive command as you use your OPC in the public IP address that you made note of earlier. We are now SSH'd into the compute instance running an Oracle cloud infrastructure. At this point, we're going to install Docker Engine and Git. First, we need to switch to the root user. And then we're going to issue the yum command yum install Docker Engine. Here we want to enter yes to confirm it's OK to install. We also need to do some housekeeping to ensure that uh, Docker Engine will run under the user OPC and start on a reboot of the instance. So we're going to issue the user mod command. We're then going to issue a system CTL command to enable Docker. And finally, we're going to start the Docker Engine itself. Next, we're going to install git. We're going to issue the yum install git command. Again, we're going to enter yes to confirm it's OK to install. Now that it's installed, uh, we want to exit out or switch users from root back to OPC. Now we're going to issue the Docker version command to verify that the Docker engine is running and the correct version is installed. We're also going to see if there's any Docker images. At this point, there should not be any Docker images, local images. And finally, we're going to list the Git version that was installed. And the final step in this lab is to Set some SE Linux permissions so that the Docker engine and containers running in Docker can interact with the host file system. So we're going to edit the uh, sysconfig SE Linux file. We're going to change the permission from enforcing to permissive. This will ensure that any future reboots of the instance uh, will sure that this setting is set to permissive. Be sure to save the file and exit. Also, for the current SSH connection that we have, we want to make sure that we set the uh, permissions to permissive. So we're going to issue the command set enforce zero. We can also check the status of that by typing the command se status. And finally, we're going to exit out and verify that we are user OPC. And that concludes Lab 50 of the Docker Workshop.